Hey, you really have to call me. I've been sitting here for an hour and you're not showing up. So, call me or I'm just gonna leave. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go home. Hey man, um, I'm just calling you. You're not picking up the phone. I know, um, but still, I'm just telling you, I'm gonna leave now. Like, we were supposed to meet right now. And I've been sitting outside of the cafe for like an hour and you're not showing up and I'm sick of that so yeah have a great rest of your night I guess I hate you. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die. You need to learn your lesson. End of messages. Well, we start this half hour with the husband accused of killing his wife, allegedly concocting a coronavirus story to try to throw cops off his trail. 
In this affidavit, detectives say a neighbor reported a blood-curdling scream around 6 a.m. the morning she vanished. The document says around that same time, you can also hear screaming in surveillance video from her porch, a male subject seen carrying an unknown object. She didn't come to work, which was very unlike her. She didn't call or text or anything. They received a suspicious email from her saying she had come down with an acute case of COVID-19. The language in the email was, ex it was, it was alarming. Police say multiple witnesses also received text messages claiming she had been admitted to a clinic with coronavirus. But those who know her say it just didn't add up. At this point, everyone's saying, well, this is really strange, you know? So they called the police. Things didn't look right. In the affidavit, police say they found Carr in the parking lot of a local hospital, but the hospital never had a record of her as a patient. The document also saying surveillance video showed a taller white male with dark hair dropping off that car. Police say blood was found in the garage and surveillance video showed a water jug with a blood-like substance on it. The report saying that same male subject looks directly into a garage camera, grabs it with a gloved hand and pulls it down. The report says a witness identified the male in the video 